became of that creature? Where is he? What? I saw him. And... Get out of here. Now. You needn't ask me twice. Could have shown some sympathy for the boy. He... That was no boy, Geralt. It was a hunk of rotting, rancid flesh that spoke through my magic. Didn't just speak. It howled in pain. I know it seemed real, but it was no longer human. Do you understand? Nice of you to be so concerned for the corpse. Much more than you were for me. Yen, are you all right? I'm splendid. I'd feel even better if I hadn't had to remind you to ask that question. Yen, are you all right? I'm fine now. The spell. Imagine putting wriggling cockroaches in your mouth, or swimming in manure. That's more or less how it felt. What... what happened to the garden? It died. Like I said, the spell, it requires a great deal of energy. You knew it would end like this, didn't you? Didn't consider it worth mentioning? No. I knew you'd protest. Your sense of decency is charming, but it does get in the way sometimes. Could have shown some sympathy for the boy. He... That was no boy, Geralt. It was a hunk of rotting, rancid flesh that spoke through my magic. Didn't just speak. It howled in pain. I know it seemed real, but it was no longer human. Do you understand? Geralt, I know we should talk, but not here, all right? I don't wish to stay a moment longer. The garden! Our garden! How could you? We helped! And you! Inconceivable! Now, now! Don't you dare try to calm me! We've every right to be furious! Furious! And you! You will pay for this! We had no choice. We'd never have learned what happened to her. Do you really think you're justified? That your hunt for a foreign woman gives you the right to destroy our garden? I'm sure it doesn't in your eyes. I'm sorry. Is that all? Will you say nothing else? Nothing that would help. I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you. Sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger. And none shall tend to your wounds. Yen, you didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. 
We must focus on what Scal told us. Didn't learn much, though... Though we can be sure Ciri's not in Skellige anymore. Not in Velen or Novigrad either. She's disappeared. Again. Perhaps we should re-examine what we've learned. We might have missed a clue that would push us forward. Certainly hope that's the case. Uh, makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. Can't even begin to imagine. But we will pull her out of it. Safe and sound. That I promise you. The key to finding Ciri is that ugly thing Skell saw on the beach. That's what I think. You know, I saw something, or someone who looked just like that. Where? In Velen, in a castle until recently ruled by a self-proclaimed baron, now controlled by his right-hand man, Sergeant Ardal. You must go and get the creature. I don't know, buy him, kidnap him. The thing's clearly cursed. Its mind is a jumble. Can't have anything resembling a normal conversation with it. Grumbling won't get us anywhere. All will be well. A curse, please. Nothing a sorceress and a witcher couldn't handle. Now, tell me, do you... No, never mind. You were gonna ask me something. What was it? Tell me, do you think... Is there a chance... That thing might be Siri. That... well... She's been transformed by some curse. Don't even want to think about it. Geralt, we must. Might be. From what I know, she was looking to cure a powerful curse while in Novigrad. But I'll lose it if I try to deal with that possibility now. We have to do what we can, see what happens. Siri's trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? Let's meet in Larvik, at the Warrior's Hall. We'll speak there. Fine. Larvik. See you there soon. Thank you. For that, and for your help in the garden. I'd not have managed without you. It was nothing. Geralt, you know me. I'm rare to praise, but when I do, it is sincere. Decided to keep me company? Never know what might come at you deep in a dark forest. You think someone may wish to hurt me? Ugh, witches. I see you're inclined to respond to the call of the wild. Fine. In that case, meet me at Larvik. Decided to keep me company? Never know what might come at you deep in a dark forest. You think someone may wish to hurt me? Think I should warn off anyone who'd be dumb enough to try. If you must, you must. I shall wait for you in Larvik for a time. If you don't make it, we'll meet in Vizima. After all, we do owe the Emperor a report. Ciri's our concern. Ours alone. Perhaps. But that is not what we agreed with Amir. We must see him. Being awfully loyal to your patron. He's your patron as well, dear. Don't forget that. Lest he remind you of it himself. If we gotta, we gotta. So be it. We'd never have known Ciri had returned if not for Emma and his agents. We owe him this. I refuse. Don't have the slightest intention of reporting to him. 
Fine. I can't force you. See you again. Take care of yourself. Wait. This matter in Larvik. It really is important to me. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tarry. Not so fast, Roach. Run, Roach. Slow now. And you let her share his bed? He wouldn't touch her with a ten-foot pole. Just gives her a good looking over at times. Says that when he looks at her real close, he hates her so much he's got to scream. What do you seek, traveller? Hmm? Go on from the village, Baron. Another or one struck you best take that back. You defile sacred ground. The gods will never forgive you for this. Ye ain't welcome here, witch. Find the Garden of Freya, a hollow place. A cursed wench. Always did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm -hmm. Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Pharipsis, a specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he penned in the Emperor's library. Far Ipsis set off for Skellige one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. Why are you even interested? Jinns are dangerous sometimes, and malicious all the time. I remember. But the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a Jinn, I shall gain incredible power. 
and that could be useful to us one of these days. Are you sure this mage actually had a djinn? His books strongly suggest he did. He describes taming one, harnessing energy from its power. Nowhere to look for the mage and the djinn? The locals say they last saw Amos's ship off the coast of Hindusfjall, just before a once in an eon storm broke. Dad will find them then. Mage is probably fish food, and the djinn escaped. Not necessarily, but even if it is so, I'll not give up without seeing some evidence. Will you help me? They know what happened to him? The locals say they last saw his ship off the coast of Hindisfjall. Then a once in an eon storm broke. So he's probably fish food by now. Not necessarily. I must learn what became of him. Why? Do you know him? No. It's not the mage who interests me. It's his djinn. Why are you even interested? Djinns are dangerous sometimes, and malicious all the time. I remember. But the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a djinn, I shall gain incredible power. And that could be useful to us one of these days. Are you sure this mage actually had a djinn? His books strongly suggest he did. He describes taming one, harnessing energy from its power. Storm wouldn't pose a threat if he'd had a djinn. He could just utter a wish. Perhaps he had none left, or something unexpected happened. All right, so what exactly do you expect me to do? You must help me find this djinn. I've no gold to offer in reward, but I shall be ever so grateful. Sorry, Yen. If you want to go djinn hunting, I'm afraid you're on your own. The most I can hope to accomplish on my own are a few chats with angry Skelligers. If that's how you wish to be, I shall travel to Vizima. Emperor must be wondering what progress we've made. Do what you gotta do. I'm going to see the Baron, collect Uma from him, then ride for Kaer Morin. I shall join you as soon as I can. Since you put it that way, fine, I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. I heard the boom. Then the blast near blew the long ships off the bay. It was a fallen star. See, you've managed to prepare everything already. I have. How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. I decided to risk it. Well, let's go. <coughs> Come. The landing's not far. This new captive woman, she's from Nilfgaard, you know. From Nilfgaard. Did you let her share it? Greetings, Carol. Listen, need to broach a difficult topic. A young man from your clan. Skjall. Craven, you meant to say. That's just it. It was unjust of you to strip him of his name. He didn't run away, flee out of fear. He... Only blood can clear one of shame. Words change nothing. Not his, not yours. What's new on Hindersfjall? New? Lofoten lies in ruins. The garden's been devastated. At least Mokvark's a problem no more, thanks to you. Now, if you could send the King of the Wild Hunt the same way... All in good time. Farewell. Lead the way. Just once, you might try to take the initiative. Would you even let me? It would depend on the situation. Carrying the gin sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. All right, let's.
let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice? No. Getting in or not? Geralt, how long must I wait? Are you ready to sail? I'm not sure this gin thing is a good idea. We managed to seize one before. Do you remember? Of course. And the lion almost lost his voice that time. <laughs> how lucky your exorcism saved it. It was poetic. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. Gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life? Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always, not about you mocking my every mistake. Careful what you wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. Yeah... And as for your missteps, I don't rightly see why I shouldn't laugh if they're amusing. There's something here, on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. Esad I cried a rithorn. Ready. Careful down there. It's clearing up. How's your bath? Water warm enough for you? Jump in, see for yourself. Seawater wreaks havoc on my complexion. Just find the wreck. How's it going? Yeah, you know I hate it when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? You wouldn't admit it if I did. Not the point. See anything interesting? A shipwreck and a cabin. I'll look inside. Busted planks and a whole swarm of drowners, probably drawn by the corpses of drowned crew. They built their nest here. There's also a clan Drummond figurehead. Not the right ship. Come back up. the leads take us. A 
Say we find the djinn. What'll you do? Ask for a beautiful house? And a palace? And a queen's crown? Are we still talking about the djinn? Have we moved on to a talking fish? Doesn't much matter. Both make wishes come true. What would yours be? You learn in two things. Something's here. Another wreck. Let's see if our gin's down there. Look around, but be careful. Look for something that might indicate it's the Mage's ship. Got a chest, really old. Must have fell off the wrecked longship. Can you open it? Hoping for pirate treasure. I hope to find the gin. Try to open it. Now that's what I call war booty. Have you found the gin? No, but I found something that could be just as valuable to me as the gin is to you. Beautiful craftsmanship. What do you have? A war horn, bearing Clan Hamai symbols. Stuck in the side, the kind pharaoh folk use. Yen, doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken longships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere. Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Hamai symbols. Donar's clan. Donar was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Longship belonged to Clan Dimon. Skeleton. Somebody pinned his skull to the deck with an axe. A death worthy of a Skelliger. Clan emblem indicates a demon man, so he was from Pharaoh. Men from Pharaoh attacked this ship. You're getting better at this. Go even quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the Golden Dragon and the avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember, the chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember. Though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. Something strange about those rocks. And there's something on the bottom. We'll see what it is. something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I shall cast another spell, to see through your eyes. Now relax. I soon fall to your bedem ein achter illivade. That is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks, and everything lying within the teleportation zone. Always claimed portals were dangerous. I believe we're on the right track. 
Look for anything that might contain a gin. Fine, but get out of my eyes. Too cramped in here for us both. I see Falchia Badem Ein Achter Elevate. Transverse cut through the pelvis. Surgical precision. No conventional weapon can do this. Silver. Pearl encrusted cutlery. Ship belonged to someone awfully wealthy. Amos was no pauper. It could very well be his ship. Hmm. Something cut this basket exactly in half. Bet it was cut by the same thing that cut the skeleton. Transverse cut through the pelvis. Surgical precision. No conventional weapon can do this. But whatever cut the basket probably could. No gin here, but there's something you ought to like. What? Half a seal. That'll do. Come back up. Only found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the gin. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two... Did. Look, we must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this gin? But you already know. A gin's power is priceless to a mage. Won't warm your way out of it. Not this time. Tell me the truth or I'll leave. You needn't resort to blackmail. You would have learned eventually. True, but after the fact. I want to know now. That I know, but I also want to know how you plan to use it. Wouldn't go to these lengths if it wasn't something important. You're right. It's important. Even very important. <sighs> how long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us? Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other. But I can never be certain if it's a true feeling, or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it. This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. Why would you want to do that? To see what it's like without it. To see if we'll still matter to one another. Or if we'll be like two strangers. I get it. You want to know what'll happen if magic no longer binds us. I want to know if when the Jinn's magic is gone, if we've any magic left of our own. What if I don't want to know? I'm afraid you no longer have a choice. Hmm. Wondered that myself many times. You see? We're just a step away from learning the truth. Come, let's search the ship. Seems Amos was quite the eccentric, asking the djinn to lift half his ship to a mountaintop. He didn't necessarily. 
Jinns are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in doing so. In that case, I'd appreciate it if you didn't wish I'd disappear from your life. I've yet to decide how to word it. We should explore the ship. Nothing interesting here. Nothing here. Interesting. this means. Mystery of mysteries, Agnes of Glanville. Elemental Empires by Jean Batista. Mage must have slept here. Nothing interesting. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. Wonder what this means. Nice shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. Blood. Someone was dragged across the deck. War left this mark when the ship suddenly tipped to one side. Yen, think you should see this. What do you have? It's Amos. Looks exactly like the etching in the book. Except his head was intact there. Think the djinn did this to him? No, it wouldn't attack its master. This looks rather like an unfortunate accident. When the storm broke, Amos must have uttered a wish like, take us away anywhere, to a mountaintop even. And the djinn granted the wish literally. They had a hard landing. Amos was thrown off his feet and against the wall. The bookcase did the rest. Always knew too much studying could kill you. If he died while being teleported, Seal might still be on him. Behold. Bravo! Come to the deck. I've an idea. Come with me. I've an idea. Cold's preserved the corpse. Hmm. Died from head trauma. Bookcase cracked his skull. Must have been a hard landing atop this mountain. Step back a bit. What are you going to do? Summon and tame the djinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Tame djinn. Rif kaishta aim gaya. Kaishta et disglair. Givered me castle. while I draw him into the sphere. Care to trade places? He's stronger than I thought!
got you. Taking you have a plan. You must weaken him while I draw him into the sphere. Care to trade places?
Chu. Your master died before uttering his last wish. I cannot capture you. We can struggle like this for eternity or I can release you. If you do one thing for me. No. Do you see the spell that binds us? No. Only a djinn can remove another djinn's spell. Remove this one and you'll be free. Storm's over. Yes. It's all over. Maybe we should sit. You look a bit dazed. I'm not, but we can sit. Feel any better? I told you, I'm fine. Don't need to play tough for me. That was a hard fight. Maybe not as hard as the last time we tamed a djinn, but still. <laughs> no comparison, I'm afraid. Half of Rhine suffered then. Now I'm merely a bit tired. We've improved. Last time we tamed a djinn, we destroyed half of Rhine. Yes, we make a good team. Thank you for coming, Geralt. I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. Not sure I'd have done it if I'd known what this was about from the start. Then we'd never have learned the truth. Whether anything would change after the Jinn removed the spell. Has it? Has anything changed? Well, I never could say no to you. Hmm. Perhaps that will change now. Feel anything? That anything's... different? Hmm. I expected... I don't know what I expected, actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. I thought... you'd become a stranger to me. That I'd look at you and not feel a thing. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. Jin might have cheated us after all. Why? Because I don't feel that anything's changed either. I love you, Yen. And I love you. Ah, oh, what was that? be all sweetness and light. Strange. Done that so many times. But it felt like our first kiss to me. It was in a way. Besides, once you say I love you, a kiss has to taste differently. What's next? Got any plans? That depends what you mean. We must find Ciri, and then defeat the hunt. Maybe we ought to test a few other things. Amos's cabin looked cozy. Not so fast, Geralt. We'll have plenty of time to visit cozy cabins later. But I doubt the world will end if we sit here a while. <sighs> My, it's lovely. The spirits of Skellige favor us. Next time we go on horseback. A horse would never make it down that mountain. What now? Well. I'm due to appear in Vizima. Fine. If you gotta go, go. It 
shan't take long. Better not. Yen, what happened back there? It was very nice. Let's not ruin it by hashing out the details. I'm going to see the Baron. Collect Uma from him, then we'll ride for Kaer Morin. I shall join you as quickly as I can. See you, Yen. Take care of yourself. Geralt? So, feel any different after our encounter with the Djinn? Yes. Now I feel... regret. Mean to say that... That I regret we didn't try that earlier. Much earlier. Think we would have argued less? Quite the opposite. But the other moments would have been more intense as well. Moments like this. Thanks, Yen. See you later. Sorry, Yen, but magic's gone for me. Truly? But how is that possible? I still feel the same. You should too. I don't understand. What does this mean? Means the Jin granted your wish. Right. Fine. Good. Glad we got that over with. We know where we stand, at least. Naught left for us here. Let's go. Wait. Magic's gone, true, but that doesn't mean I don't like spending time with you. Let's sit a while. Next time we go on horseback. A horse would never make it down that mountain. What now? Well, I'm due to appear in Vizima. Fine. If you gotta go, go. Yen, what happened back there? Please, Geralt. There's nothing left to say. I'm off. Me too. I'll collect Duma from the Baron, then we'll ride for Kaer Morin. I shall join you as quickly as I can. Farewell. So long, Yen. Geralt? Ever think about the past? About your time with the hunt? At times, I'm amazed we survived. Eridan's not usually one to leave witnesses behind. That's just it. He didn't. Lost my memory when I escaped the hunt. Ah, oh, yes. Your famous amnesia. You didn't have it? For a short time only. Once the Emperor's mages got their hands on me, my memory quickly returned. Thanks, Yen. See you later. Geralt? We started talking about the past. But didn't finish. When the hunt had you, hope they didn't hurt you. Even if they did, I've no memory of it. The whole time's but a string of phantom images. Blood and fire. A wild chase through different worlds. All shrouded in fog. Though I do remember you coming for me, trading your life for mine. I hadn't the chance to thank you then. You'd have done the same for me. I'm touched by your certainty. 
But you've yet to tell me how you escaped them. Wouldn't mind knowing that myself. There are times I remember rushing forward, red riders around me. Next thing I know, I'm in the woods at the foot of Kaer Morin. That's it. What did Aridin want from you exactly? The same thing he wanted from you. You don't recall? Draw a blank on most of my time with them. We were bait, Geralt. Both of us. Eredin believed Ciri would come for us sooner or later and he would capture her. Fortunately, she didn't fall for it. How do you go from being the Emperor's hostage to being his ally? One day, the door of my cell opened and instead of seeing the usual officer, I saw Emir. He promised to release me and grant me free reign of the Imperial Treasury, provided I did what he asked. He told you about Ciri, and you accepted his offer. Why? Shared aims make for strange bedfellows. I knew I had to find Ciri before Eridan did, and if any man had the power and the means to help me, it was the Emperor. Besides, once all said and done, he is her father. Why didn't you look for me, after you'd recovered your memory and your freedom? I assumed you would recover quickly and find me first. You had mages to help you. I was on my own. Well, not entirely. Besides, I knew you'd fled the hunt. Eridan would never have let you go. He'd erased my memory, but you escaped. It was wholly possible he hadn't had the chance with you. And there were your Witcher mutations. I expected they'd stave off any serious injury. Still can't get something out of my mind. What? Yen, can we talk? Why? So you can ask me if we can remain friends despite all? No, I... I mean... Come now, Geralt. I know you. Well enough to know exactly what's going on with you and Triss. Now, I cannot say I'm not tempted to... Hmm... Intervene, but... I believe I'll let it lie this time. How about that? You came here to fumble your way through an explanation, yet instead of enjoying the show, I went and did your job for you. Seems so. But now, enough of this maudlin business. We've something to do, remember? Found something that might belong to you. That skull some sort of accessory? If so, you've changed your style a bit. It's a weapon. Don't remember ever seeing you with that? It's as you said. I've changed my style. Thanks, Yen. See you later. <laughs>